um, getting in the music business again and never knowing where you're going to end up. For me, I always feel like do it from the heart and whatever comes out of it is always right. It's your therapy. So, you know, when you get a, you know, a trophy like, you know, a, a, a platinum plaque or something like this from, from Fergie from a record label, it, it's to me, besides the money, is one of those things that says that you've been recognized for something that you've created. And for most true artists, I'm not sure I can speak for everyone, but that means something when you can have a platinum plaque to your, you know, to your repertoire, you know. So at the end of the day, it all started for me making bass music. And if it's going to end, which it is for everyone, I'm going to be known as the person that always included bass in every song he created. <laughs> and, and I'm going to ride out into the sunset. I don't know where I place it and who did first what. I don't get into that. I just get into when I make music, I incorporate the drop. So um, when I think about my career in the, in the music business and how you know how things have actually formed, I really had no control of it. I'm a you know very religious person. I believe that you know God really have more control over what we're doing than we know. But that's just my personal belief, and and for me it's just been a, a journey. You know, from the first song I've I've ever recorded. To the new material that I'm working on now, you know, after Give It All You Got, you know, I did this track called Just Let It Go. And every time, you know, I try to, you know, not mention that song, somebody, someone always, you know, seemed to remind me, hey, D, don't forget, Just Let It Go. That was a pretty big song. But, you know, when you're humble and, you know, and you just do what you do because you enjoy doing it. You know, you forget all the accolades and, you know, did you go platinum, did you go gold, did you do that? I'm just so elated to be a part of something. Something. Just a part of something. And good thing that there's a potential chance to make money from what I do. Because I would hate to think that I spend so much time doing what I do and doing it for free. It has pissed most of my girlfriends off, my mom, you know, God bless her, and a lot of people who wanted maybe more of my attention, but this is what I do, and I love doing it. So, you know, now that we're here in 2012, talking, you know, about bass music, nothing has changed for me. I'm still doing it for the music. I feel that I have no choice to do what I do. I'm just doing it. So I don't want to hear about you shouldn't get in the music business because you shouldn't get back into it because I took a little, you know, absence from the game a little bit. But people tell me I shouldn't. And it has changed, D. But that shit don't faze me, man, because I make music because I love making music. And I don't care if it's go digital or whatever the next term they call. MP9, MP50. You know, I don't care. None of that shit is going to change whether I make music or not. So I'm going to do what I do. And I love doing what I do and nothing is going to change. And I'm happy to be a part of a movement, a, a team of people. Seem like everyone is passionate about this documentary and making sure that we get our our message across. And it's really not a message. It's, we're, all we're saying is that we're doing what we love to do. And we're happy that the rest of the country, you know, is actually including you know, South Florida, mainly our little area down here in the dirty south in South Florida, that we actually, you know, like what you're doing. And the, their way of doing that is by incorporating us in some of the more popular songs right now. And I did this song called, uh, this album called Hypnotech. And it was basically hip hop with techno music. And I couldn't get nobody to pick it up. I didn't have the money at the time to put it out. So I, I met, uh, I linked up with Neil Case, and Neil said, and that's a uh, bass mechanic, by the way, and <clears throat> he said, I put that shit out, I get it, D. It's like hip hop music with with techno, but I know you're gonna add some bass to it. You're damn right, and no one got it, 
And now I hear like hip hop when I hear Lil Wayne or some of the biggest artists that's that's on the radio right now adding electronic music like techno music to like hip hop. It makes me laugh and it made me feel like I was a, a ahead of my time a little bit. And it's OK because it's just music. everything we do. Just it's just a, a revolving circle. We're going to go back. We're going to go back where we we were like the glasses that I'm wearing now. You know, maybe my dad used to wear frames like this. But now this is, you know, back popular again. It's back on the scene. And I think if you want to be good at what you do, don't change with the time. Just do what the fuck you do. And it will catch up to you. If you try to chase time, you're going to lose. Time is going to outrun you. So all you do is stay focused. Let it come back to you. In the music business, not much has really changed. The only thing that's changed is, your, is the mentality of losers. A loser is a loser. As soon as things look complicated, they want to get out of the game. That is not going to change. When passionate people will find a way to make money from our music. But first, we got to make the music. And if you start thinking in reverse, it's not going to happen for you. It doesn't happen for anybody. I don't care what, what it is you're inspiring to be. You have to stay focused whether you make money or not. Some of the, the, the biggest things that have happened in, any, in our culture has happened from person, from no one believing in what they do. So for me, it's base. That's, that's what it is. The lower, the harder it hitting, the bigger, the more speakers you have in your car, the more you have in your nightclub, the more I want to perform in your club. The bigger your speakers, your system, I want to be there. If you got a car with a system in it, the more speakers and amps you got in that motherfucker, the more I want to roll with you. So right now, Dream Chaser Entertainment is my new company. I have Jehu, uh, Jeff Jagger, Afro Rican, and Power Supply. Those are the next projects I'm going to be releasing for the next upcoming 2000, uh, uh, 2012 year that's coming up. And needless, I don't need to say, every one of those records are different and all of them got bass in it. Peace out, Afro-Rican Dream Chaser, baby.